Hello and welcome to a brand new Lost Ark video. In today's video, I will be showing you all the ways you can make gold and at the end my personal way of making a lot of gold. Gold is the most sought after currency in the game as it allows you to make purchases in the auction house. Whether it's costumes, pets, engravings, accessories, consumables, food and many more. It also plays a vital part in your gear progression in all three tiers. It's a currency that you will always need and you can never have enough. While you are leveling, there will be some normal yellow quests that will grant you some gold. If you are strictly following a main story quest to level, then eventually you will want to go back and complete those quests. Certain guide quests and island quests after hitting level 50 will grant anywhere between 10 and 100 gold. You can check your guide quests by opening quest journal or pressing J on your keyboard. Every day there is a daily adventure island event that gives you additional rewards. You can check if there are islands that give out gold as rewards by opening Procyon eye compass symbol under the minimap. Clicking on schedule will give you all the information about the island, when they start, where they are located and what kind of rewards you can expect. Not always there will be gold as a reward. You can do these once per day during weekdays and twice per day during weekends. The amount of gold you gain depends on your item level and can vary from 100 to 1000 gold. By participating in cooperative sea events you have a chance to obtain keys. At the end of Harmony Gate you use keys for a chance to obtain secret sea maps and gold. These ocean events happen at a specific time during the day. If you get a secret sea map Upon finding marked location on the map, you will receive decent amount of gold. Collecting masterpieces is another way to make gold. It is not something you actively farm, as most masterpieces are RNG drop from various events and PvE content. It is more of a long term goal that happens over time, as you do various activities and progress your character. There are 5 artist chests which overall is 49,000 gold. Chaos Dungeons have two ways of making gold. After killing the boss on stage 2, there is a chance to spawn a red or gold portal. Both of these portals reward gold and various extra materials. Red portal gives more gold than gold portal. You can only earn gold rewards from these two portals during your first two daily runs. They do not give gold rewards during infinite chaos dungeon spam. The amount of gold given depends on the difficulty of the chaos dungeon. The second way is selling materials on auction house as upgrade materials you gain are tradable. You can also get accessories with best in slot stats and engravings that you can sell. Broken gear that has different random tripod levels that you can only get in tier 3 chaos dungeons a chance of getting ability stones and engraving books that you can also sell if they are valuable. You can only farm chaos dungeons in tier 3 only for crystals that you can exchange for tradable materials you can sell. Only sell upgrade materials if you are really desperate for gold. You can get Epona badges by completing daily and weekly Una tasks. The amount of badges you get each week is determined at the start of the weekly reset. Higher item level you are, the more badges you can obtain. You can claim Epona badges in the daily Una task menu after achieving 25 to 70 points. You get 2 points for each Una daily task completed and 12 points for each weekly. You can earn points on multiple characters to speed up the process of getting to 70 points, but you can only claim Epona badges on one character. Forget to claim Epona badges, they will be mailed to you on a weekly reset. You can exchange these Epona badges for 3 different gold chests at any gold exchanger NPC. Best value is the gold casket and you should always wait until you have 500 Epona badges. You have a 100% guarantee of making 1250 gold plus each week from the gold casket plus on top of that a chance to get multiple light gold plates, which is 100 gold each, heavy gold plates, which are 1000 gold each, and a gold bar, which is a 10,000 gold. 
Abyss dungeons you can complete once each week and they give you gold based on what tier of Abyss dungeon it is. Higher tier means more gold after completing it. You can also use alts to clear it and gain the same amount of gold. This is going to be your bread and butter when it comes to consistent gold income. Keep in mind that you can only have 6 characters per server that can get gold as rewards from Abyss Dungeons. Clearing Abyss Dungeons on more than 6 characters has its values as you can still gain the same amount of upgrade materials minus the gold. Amongst these rewards, you always have a chance to gain best in slot accessories that you can sell on Auction House if you don't plan on using it. In future tier 3 content there will also be Abyss Raids and Legion Raids which work exactly the same as Abyss Dungeons in terms of getting gold. Only 6 characters can earn gold, more phases you clear, more gold you get and the overall amount of gold you get is much higher than Abyss Dungeons. There is also always a chance for a best in slot accessories that could net you an absurd amount of gold. It is almost equivalent to winning a lottery jackpot. While talking about future content, GVG content will not be available in any EU launch. GVG happens every Saturday, where each guild can contest a specific island. Gaining high placement awards gold that is stored in a separate guild storage and then a guild leader can distribute that gold between guild members. Certain rapport NPCs reward gold after you reach a specific level of reputation with them. These rewards are one-time rewards and can only be claimed on one character. It can be very time-consuming pursuing this as most gold rewards are given at higher tiers. This is only worth doing early on if you manage to get a lot of legendary gifts as the amount of gold you get will be inconsequential the longer the time goes by and the more you progress. On screen you can see all the NPCs from tier 1 to tier 3 that reward gold and how much gold you can make. Chaos Gate is another way of making gold. After completing Chaos Gate, you will be awarded one of three different tiers of secret maps depending on item level requirement for Chaos Gate. Blue secret maps you want to keep and exchange at map exchanger NPC for a higher tier. When it comes to purple maps, you have two options. You can sell one map run for gold to three different people without maps or straight after chaos gate you can group up with three other players who have the same purple secret map and completing it four times means you get four times the rewards the best reward you get is harmony shards bag that based on the tier of the chaos gate can vary from tier 1 to tier 3 which also varies in price Anything your main or your alts can't use that is not bound and it's tradable, you should sell on the auction house. Whether it's engraving books, accessories, materials, ability stones and many more. Understanding the value of each item can make you a sizable amount of gold. Anything that is required to progress your gear early on will be worth a lot more than later in the game. Tier 1 materials might be worth a fortune as everyone will try to progress as fast as possible, meaning players will be willing to pay way above market price, so take advantage of that. As a complete last resort, you can always swipe your credit card, buy yourself premium currency, exchange it for blue crystals and sell those crystals for gold. Or you can use that premium currency to buy costume boxes, pets, ship skins, mounts and so on and sell them directly on auction house for above market price as these items are tradable as long as you don't accidentally open them. I saved my personal way of making gold for the last of course. This whole way of making gold is based on life skills, gathering and estate. If you are looking to make a lot of gold early on, progressing your estate is just as important as progressing your main character. In your estate laboratory, you will want to progress it until you meet requirements to unlock specific recipes. Those recipes are Spirit Blessing, Small Arctus Crystal, First Class Albedo, Crystal of Arctus, Awakening Potion and Adropping Potion. 
keep in mind that these recipes will probably have different names on EU and NA. These are all the items used for progressing your character in tier 3, and potions are self-explanatory as they are sought after in tier 3 content. You can also sell all the other gathering materials. I recommend focusing mostly on herbalism and fishing, as with herbalism you can craft potions and bombs, and with fishing you can craft arctus crystals. These are all the ways of making gold that I know of and have been using on a daily and weekly basis. It might feel that early on is very hard to gain any gold, but it's not the case. Relying on alts to make gold is not necessary, but it will boost your gold income by a lot. Having alts is the most consistent way of making a lot of gold each week and nothing will change that. But with the current knowledge transfer system that is coming on NA and EU, you can level up alts automatically by paying gold. So this is a very nice thing to have for all the people that hate leveling alts. Hopefully this helps you understand all the ways of making gold. If you have any questions or you know about other way of making gold that I didn't mention, please let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you like this type of content and turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on the future videos. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one.